Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to the Craft IQ Challenge. This is super exciting. So this challenge is started by uh, Jackie Malzahn, and I just love it. So we had an item that was given to us um, each day over the course of seven days, and that right there was the list. I've got it in the screen there so that you can follow along. Um, we don't know what's going to be given to us the next day, uh, so the idea is that you build your layout over the course of the seven days. Now you do have the option to wait until the list is complete and then build it. Um, and I kind of do a combination of both, partially because of uh, the amount of time that I have available and partially because I don't want to glue things down until um, I know if I'm going to have to add something else. And that is a big factor. So we, uh, it's highly recommended from Jackie that you don't glue things down until the very end and there we do know that there won't be stuff like mixed media added um, as a last step or anything like that um, with maybe the exception of a little bit of splatter but uh, a mixed media background is not something that's going to be at the very end it would be like the first thing told um, and same with I believe maybe the number of photos uh, or um, I think there was maybe one other exception um, because we don't want you to have to like rip your whole layout apart and start over. So um, the first la layer on this particular one was to create a mixed media background and um, it had to be on a solid color cardstock and I chose black. Normally I would choose white but today I chose black and I pulled out my Dilutions spray, um, the shimmer spray and also the Nuvo um, it's not glitter spray, sparkle spray. I think it's called sparkle spray. Um, and I really like how they show up on the black. I thought that was really cool. So that's why I decided to go with the black paper. And then we needed to choose two contrasting pattern papers in a vertical design. So I just decided to go with this, you know, a straight vertical pattern there. And I actually have three little papers there, but, um, two was the minimum. And then our next item on the list for the second day was that we had to have something that was related to music. Now I chose to use these concert photos, which I think would have applied, but um, I also chose to use that cut file that has the music notes and the microphone and the flowers on it, and I really like how that came out. Um, I do end up modifying this piece of the microphone. I use some of my shimmers products and one the purple one is called plum crazy um, the off the white one I cannot remember the name of it um, I, I can't remember the name of it it's iridescent basically <laughs> um, if you need to know the name of it let me know in the comments I will definitely look it up for you um, and then I'm adding this little turquoise color I really like that I think that one's called blue lagoon and um, I am just adding a, the very lightest touch of the purple and the turquoise. I don't want it to be overpowering, but I don't want it to be stark white. Um, then our next item was to add stars, and I know I'm going to add the stars, but I'm going to add them at the very end, and they're going to be really tiny. And so um, that was on day three. Day four was a two-font minimum title, um, three of something, and use a punch. So my three of something are those three roses. Um, I had two different cut files there. I had the piano keys in the circ circular element that I, I had put on the page, but I decided to go with this microphone one because I also needed three of something and the roses qualified for that. Um, at least I felt like they did because I could have easily cut those off and just used the microphone with the music, um, like the, the staff and all of that. But um, I left them on there and I d backed them in purple paper and the, these papers are all from Vicki Booten's new color study collection. And then uh, we were also to use a punch. And so my punched piece is that turquoise vertical piece of paper has a scallop punch um, that was already used on it. And that was a piece that was in my stash. So. Um, I had intended to use it for something else, but I thought it qualified because it, I had already used my punch on it. And rather than punching the exact same thing, I might as well call that my item. So my title is going to be Spirit West Coast, which is the name of the concert. It is a Christian concert series. And um, 
that a uh, friend of mine gifted to me, basically. She, she took me to it. Um, and she had like, we had front row center seats and backstage passes and all, you know, the whole works. And so I definitely wanted to document that. And in the photos, the photos are of two of the performers and then me with an, one of the other performers. Um, and so I am making my own thickers by using that same blue paper that I have in the vertical design. And I am backing it with the turquoise foam. So I just basically peel off the adhesive side of the foam and stick the paper on there in the size that I need and cut it. And then I die cut my letters. And I am using... Um, these are the Pink Fresh Studio Alphas, the, I believe it's Heather lowercase for most of the letters, and then the fancy first letter, well the T is not going to get used there because I didn't realize that the T is at the end of the word and I don't need that big swoosh hanging off the end. If it was at the beginning of the word, I would have probably kept it, but um, I end up using, I believe, the S from that fancier one. Um, and uh, that, I think they're called ornate. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you are looking for them and can't find them, let me know and I will definitely look it up for you. And so then my second font is going to be this lowercase font. And these are from scrapbook.com. It was a set that came with an uppercase and a lowercase. And I think they're called skinny or thin, something like that. <laughs> so, um, and then I am doing those in the purple to bring in the same purple that I used in that middle flower. The three flowers, uh, the two on the outside are, are done in a different paper. It's got more of a polka dot on it. And then the, um, middle one has a stripe on it and it's tone on tone. So it's really hard to see that stripe. So that's going to be my two font title, my three of something and my punch. And that those were from day four. And then Day five was the item that I rec I suggested um, because I got to play, I got to be part of the team that uh, puts out these, these items or the list. And so day five was mine and I don't have any visibility ahead of time to what anyone else is going to add to the list. I get them just on the same schedule as everyone else and then um, I add mine. And so mine was to use something that was five years, something that was in your stash for at least five years. And if you didn't have a stash for five years, like if you're a new scrapbooker or something like that, use one of your oldest items. And so I chose to use brads and I'm going to use three brads and they're kind of like a teal color, which brings in um, more of that kind of green color. And I'm just going to put them right down below where it says Spirit West Coast. You can see the brads kind of sitting off to the right hand side. Um, on my desk there. So that is what I'm going to use. And then day six was sequins and splatter. And I didn't really add splatter because uh, there's already a ton of splatter on my layout. Um, my mixed media definitely looks like splatter. So there wasn't a whole lot of point in adding more because you wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. Now if I had done something that was like really neat with watercolor or painting um, and then I would probably go ahead and add the splatter because you wouldn't necessarily see it otherwise. Um, so that would be day six. And then day seven was stitching. And I actually already did my stitching um, all the way around my layout. I did a zigzag stitch in gold uh, metallic thread. And um, I also did a line of gold metallic thread down the middle of those vertical papers. And now I am adding those stars that I told you I was going to add at the end. I am just using some silver embossing powder. And I know that seems weird since I did gold thread. Um, but the background in the, the sparkle in the background mixed media is silver. So I decided to go back to silver and make my stars silver rather than gold. And that stamp is from, um, I believe it's from Kelly Perky. And it is from one of her planner stamp sets from ages ago. It's really old and they are super tiny. It's a super tiny row of stars and they're super cute. Um, I think you will be able to see them in the close-ups. And let's see, I think that is pretty much going to do it. I do have to still add my sequins. I have not put those on yet. And so you're going to see that right here. 
But while I do that, let me tell you a little bit about the series. We're a little bit off this month because of um, International Scrapbooking Day weekend was super busy, so we started the series late. But I believe future months, um, the 1st through the 7th of the month, we will give you your, your recipe, so to speak. So one item each day or one group of items each day because um, some of these had more than one one item on them and then um, all of our if you do videos or you want to share like on Instagram or whatever I think that goes up the 20th of the month however this month we're doing it on the 30th because like I said we started late so um, in the future months it'll be the first through the seventh and then the 20th all of the videos will go live and we have a group for that if you're not in the group you can go and join that group it's called craft IQ and it's so much fun we've really enjoyed doing this and we actually did a trial run of this um, in the in a few weeks before just with the group of us that were putting out the recipe items to see how it worked and what we needed to change and so I will have that video for you in the next couple of weeks um, if you didn't know I have my own Facebook group it's called Galaxy Girl Creations I'd love to see you over there and if you played along if you want to share your layouts in the craft IQ group that would be completely awesome too we would love to see you playing along over there um, the next month as well so be sure to join that thanks so much for watching today I really appreciate it I hope you had a great day and enjoyed this video bye bye now